Hi everyone! Today we are going to install Charles Proxy and connect it to your phone. In this video I will use Windows OS, an iPhone and Android. It is crucial to have one Wi-Fi network, so you need to use your laptop or a PC with a Wi-Fi adapter. By the way, Charles Proxy is one of the most essential apps for QR. So don't miss this video. There are only three main steps. Download and install Charles on your laptop. Download and install certificate on your laptop. Download and install certificate on your phone. First step, download and install Charles. Let's start. To install Charles, we obviously need to download it. So we need to move to the Charles website. The link will be in the description. Here you can find a trial version that allows you to work with the app for free but only for 30 minutes and then... I really don't know who has decided to make such a rule, but he or she is a marketing genius. You will see later why. This guy fucks, am I right? So here you can choose any operating system you have and download a proper one. Just click the link to download it. And also press save button. <laughs> After the file is downloaded, you can easily install it. Just press on the file and the operating system will do other work. Accept, next, next, install, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Finish. Okay, we finally installed it. You've nailed it. Good job. Step two, download the certificate on your laptop. We need to find and open Charles proxy program. Yoohoo! Just click Allow Access. Probably the child's latest version has already installed the certificates on my laptop. So if you can't see these all requests in your request tab, you should install the certificate manually. Now we are coming to the hard part. I don't like where this is going. We need to find Help button. Click on it. Then find SSL proxy and hover it. Then find install Charles root certificate and click on it. So now you can see a certificate pop up. Press install certificate. Choose current machine because we are installing the certificate on our current machine. Press next button. Just press next button and finish. Import was successful. Super. And then press OK button. Now your certificate is installed. After this, we can check if it worked. Just press the recording button, this is recording button, and Google some stuff. All your requests should be shown here in the request tab. If something is wrong, you have three options. First one, restart Charles proxy. Second one, restart your laptop. Third one, install the certificate again. Step three, install the certificate on your phone. First, configure mobile Wi-Fi. We must go to the Wi-Fi settings and change proxy setting to manual. The next step is open Charles again and find help button with its brilliant instructions. Find here install Charles root certificate on mobile device or remote browser. Here on a pop-up we can see strange numbers. This is your IP and this is your port, so you need to type your IP address into address field and port into the port field on your mobile phone and press save on your mobile phone Wi-Fi settings. Next, we must open browser on your phone and here we can see a connection attempt to Charles has been made from the host. Just press allow. Next, we must type in your browser Charles Pro SSL link. We have already seen and used this link many times on the very helpful pop-ups. So go to this Charles Pro SSL page and here you can see some magic. Now we need to install the certificate on your device. You will see that the file has been downloaded if you have an Android. After this you need to go to the settings, find here security and privacy, tap on them. Then find other security settings, tap on them too. Then find install from the device storage button, press on it. Then select CA certificate and then install anyway, 
because we have really no other way. Enter your PIN from your device and find uh, your certificate in your local storage. Press done. Your certificate has been successfully installed. Hooray! Now you can clean your request up with this button, clear current session, and now you can try to make some request on your mobile phone. You should be able to see a request from your mobile on your child's proxy request tab. Here you can see this request, mobile YouTube. Hooray! You nailed it! Woohoo! If you have an iPhone, you can see a warning on your screen. So you need to press allow and install the certificate. Press allow. Profile downloaded. Press close button. Then go to the general settings. And here you can see Profile Downloaded button. Press on it. Here you can see a pop-up Install Profile. And here you can see Charles Proxy Certificate. Press Install button. Enter your passcode. Also press Install. Then press Done button. After this, you need to go to the general settings, then press about, go to the certificate trust settings, and this is the last step. Are you ready? Press toggle near Charles proxy certificate. Make it on. Press continue. Hooray! <laughs> We've nailed it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Your certificate is successfully installed on your iPhone. So we now need to clean our current session and make some requests in our phone. Then you should be able to see all your requests in the child's request tab. And that's all. Thank you very much. Hooray! Good job! We have nailed it. If it went smoothly and you like my instructions, smash like button. Here are a few tips and tricks. If something went wrong during the installation, please find a step and repeat it. Didn't help? Try to reload Charles. Didn't help even that? Try to reload your laptop. So if you miss something, just reload and repeat the action. Secret tip! Don't tell anyone about this. I'm watching you. Don't forget to stop recording and quit Charles when you turn off your laptop or switch on VPN. Also, don't forget to switch off proxy on your devices. Because if you switch off your laptop with a proxy on your phone, your phone will be without internet. Most annoying thing. Charles's marketing team is genius because their trial is different. Basically, you can use their app for free for the whole month, but you will have to restart the app every fucking 30 minutes. And then, when you're mentally broken and exhausted, you will buy a license for fucking $50. Emotional damage! But honestly, it is not so much because it is $50 Per year. Feel free to write comments if you have any questions. And don't be upset. Even a super senior QA could face problems with the first installation.